how did you meet? Can you tell us a bit about? Uh, the, uh, this is my favourite story. Actually, <laughs> I went to his restaurant thir thirteen years ago. No, nine years. Nine ago. years ago. God, I'm sorry, I exaggerate everything. And um, I had Tête de Vaux and it was amazing. And I said to the waiter, the French waiter, who cooked this Tête de Vaux, it was brilliant. And he said, ah, it is the work of Henri Uris. <laughs> so I went to Books for Cooks and I said, have you got any works by Henri Uris? They said, we don't know who you're talking about. And I was like, how can you not know who Henri Uris? Nothing online, Henri Uris. <laughs> and then Mark Hicks said to me a few years later, do you know Henry Harris, and uh, who owns Racine? And suddenly I realised it wasn't Henri Uris, but Henry Harris. Yeah. And, and so uh, how did you actually meet though? It was in Racine again. He, Val had uh, done his series, What to Eat, and I had sat entranced by a man talking about beetroot for half an hour, and then eat onions for half an hour. I thought, yeah, here's someone who takes real ingredients very seriously. Yeah. And um, then suddenly he was there in the restaurant, and I kind of regressed into a childlike state and bumped into him as he got up from the table, which I sort of manufactured, and I said, I'm rather a fan, and then he said, well, actually, I'm rather a fan, and so we had this very kind of it's unmanly all getting moment. Mutual admiration. And we've been, yeah. each other's yeah. and we've been friends ever since. Cream sauces are the easiest things to make, and the secret is just doing it very simply and quickly. Butter, shallots, right them down. The ingredients I've got, I'm doing a little bit of garlic in there as well. Um, let that cook down. And then the cream I'm going to use is whipping cream. And how did you decide on the dishes? Was it collaborative? Or? No, not at all. No, I was kind of <laughs> shameless self-promotion because I got a book coming out, so I cooked two dishes out of the book. Um, but, and also, but, but, but dishes because my main kind of thing is moment is people saying I don't have the time to cook. Well, you can't really say that again after we've made a curry in seven minutes and some raisin clams in five. I feel rather sorry for raisin clams. They kind of, they kind of feet are hanging out like tired horses' tongues. And kind of, but they all oh, look, there goes one on the move. Um, I don't think when I was small, I used to collect all the shells and keep them in a shoebox and kind of go over them like a miser, making sure that there was the same amount in the box every night. And I didn't know at all that I grew up to kind of love them so much. But these, my goodness me, um, they are a fabulous thing and incredibly easy to cook. So um, the important thing here is that they're going to be cooked twice. So it's essential not to overcook them the first time round. So really, I've just steamed these for one minute until they've just opened, and then prize them over because they've got to go back under the grill. So if you overdo it the first time, then you'll turn a great thing into a wretched thing. Meanwhile, I'll get my kidneys underway. I adore veal kidneys. They're just one of those wonderful things that are just full of flavor, very simple, um, and very nicely contained. When they're cleaned, they look like that. But when you buy them, they come in this huge lump of suet, which the best thing you can do is chop up and render down with a couple of bay leaves and peppercorns in, and um, use it for uh, dripping to your roast potatoes, or basting your beef with roast beef, anything. And what about the festival? What about Abergavenny? How is it different to others? It smells, the people are horrible, yeah. and the food's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> There's an enthusiasm. You walk out yeah. onto the street, at 8 o'clock in the morning, the stalls are already set up. There's people eating, which is always a good sign. And Val's right, there's a smell and just an atmosphere that is just very sympathetic to good food. And everyone's here to have a good time and eat. I've used the Truly um, Farm Teresa, which is absolutely delicious, but I'm also going to add some extra um, smoked chorizo. Um, you can overdo it with chorizo and fish. It can kind of end up dominating things, but because razor clams are really quite punchy and they've definitely got a taste, you know, is there, they can kind of take it. So there's hazelnuts in here, there's tomatoes, there is... Is there a grater? Anyone got one in their bag? <laughs> no. Um, is there a grater or not? Any, is there anything? Thank you very much. Now, kidneys kind of, when they rest, they let out some of their juices, so... Just getting them straight onto the rice, the rice soaks into it, which is... Nothing gets away from you. And then freshly chopped parsley. Some of it goes on top. There's something about putting lots of parsley everywhere. <coughs> Spooning that around. And then just also a little bit thread through the middle. I'm done now. But that is, I suppose I should see what it's like. Yeah, absolutely delicious.
about tomorrow? Any other talks you want to visit? Well, I'm teaching fishing workshop in the morning, uh -huh. and I've been actually um, put on a very nice salmon beat tomorrow, so I will be, uh, as, as of bedtime tonight, I will be thinking about fishing tomorrow. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, the minute I'm out of the water, I'm going to cook it again. Yeah. And I'm going, as a student, with Val on the salmon beat, and then I'm going to wander around and do some shopping and eating and maybe take a few classes in. I'm off duty now. Excellent, so you just kick back and relax. Absolutely.